Howdy, this is Ryan for Better Tattooing. Today we're going to be talking about riding the tube. Yes. Alright, now that's over. Riding the tube or the needle. People are kind of confused at times it seems about what riding the tube or what riding the needle means. And simply enough, we look at this as skin. Let's just write that in there so we don't forget. Yay, skin. Writing the tube is where the tattoo machine has a tube that's actually actively sitting on top of the skin. And the needle that's coming out. Let's do a stack here. Right? Is using that tube tip on top of the skin surface as a guide for depth. So usually you're going to be changing your angle based on the things that you're doing to make sure that the depth is going to adjust properly for the section of skin that you're working on based on like how thick the skin is. Like you don't, you know, push really hard if you're tattooing an eyeball with a super steep angle if you're riding the tube. That's silly and it's actually pretty dangerous. So riding the needle is if we have our tube tip here, once again, it's not touching the body at all. The needles come out further, right? Creating, and we'll get little beads of pigment here on both sides. Bloop, 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 bloop. Where the needles are moving up and down and they're actually just going into the skin based on how high you're holding your hand above the skin, right? Um, for a long time, it was always thought that we were going to ride the tube on everything we're doing. Why is that? Because the skin's consistency underneath is it's never perfectly like straight. It's not like drawing on a piece of paper. So we can adjust to that depth and mode depending on like without without having to like manually adjust our hand. We'll just say it's that. It's easy, right? It's gonna sit on there. It's like drawing with a pen. Right? I'm not gonna draw with a pen with another pen attached to it and like hover it across skin. No, I'm just like on the skin. I'm doing what I'm doing. It's fantastic. We love this stuff, right? Um Leading off the needle became really popular when design started to get more intricate, right? People wanted to see their needles to see where they're going in relation to that stencil, right? We had that video about stencils that we had made, which is super duper interesting. So you can see like, you want to see where you're going and that's it. So a lot of people decided to start pushing this idea of riding the needle versus riding the tube because I think it was actually on the TV. I think it was like Miami Inc. or something like that, where they're like, you ride the needle, bro. And it was, it doesn't make any sense because if you're like a tattooer, you will do both of these all the time, right? Most of the time when people line, I'll see them line by leading off the needle, right? Because they want to see where they're going in relation to that stencil. When I see people coloring, shading, doing other things like this, I more often than not see them lead off the tube because they're just going to like take that tube buried in the skin like you're doing whip shading or something you're just gonna bury and pull right that's just simple it's not hard you're not gonna be sitting there really carefully trying to just get to the right depth and flick out which i, I have actually seen a couple of those like really fancy realism artists do that stuff which i mean more power to them but that's another video anyways um so right in the tube or the needle it's gonna happen for both right i'd say more often than not if you could set your needle up correctly correctly writing off the tube is going to give you better results because it's going to be more consistent because your needle is going to be actively kind of like hitting the same depth the whole time without small modulations inside of your hand also if you have like shaky hands if you're new if you're using a heavy machine something like this writing off the tube can like really help you right because you're not having to worry about stressing that wrist so much keeping that thing so close to the skin and then, you know, being bent over really far, oh, you can just like sit back and just kind of like ride the tube, right? At the same time, if you're riding off the needle, maybe you're doing like some mandala work that's super crazy, some Adrian Lee level shit. You're going to need to see your needles, right? <laughs> on average, riding off the needle is going to make less of a mess. You're not going to get as much ink depositing on top of the skin because normally if you're pushing backwards off of like uh, riding off the tube, you're going to dump a ton of pigment on this. Well, you, if you do it when you're leading off the needle, it doesn't really drop too much. Um, if you're always pushing forward like you're supposed to against the back of the needle or up against the back of the tube so the needle is like actively set into the tube and controlling the flow of pigment that's coming out you know not so much but it still can create hydraulic motion with this like through adhesion literally pulling the pigment out of the skin if you get too much of a bead on the tip so right in the tube or the needle i don't think it matters realistically you should be doing both if you don't it's just weird to me i don't know um Past that, thanks for watching. This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. Check it out.